Oh, ho, ho, and welcome once more to another video here on Admin of Cyber on TriHackman. We're going to look at the day eight today called Smart Contracts. So just scrolling down and looking what we have, we have something about blockchain and how we can try and attack that uh, and that, you know, get our cryptocurrency that we so legitimately mean that we own. I guess. <laughs> so the general idea is that we need to read through all this. It was quite a bit, you know, this is brand new to me. So the video today is basically going to take you through the how to use the tool we being uh, tasked to use. And I will tell you and uh, what I did, how I got it to work. And basically as much as I understand about this task, I will also talk about that. I'm a bit sick today, this is why I'm a bit, you know, slow and stuff, so I hope you will bear with me. So, the attack is described and how it works and stuff, and you should really read that, but there's a link called the Remix ID, which is the uh, edits right here. And you follow that task down to around compiling the contracts, importing them. After you import, this is where I am, then you can see that you will see stuff like attack.sol and ethos.sol. If you press the first file here and the second file, you will open them. I recommend you do that. Then after you do that, you need to go to the so, uh, Solidity compiler and pick version 8.10. You need to compile the ether store. So this is the actual store for the, the, the coin type of ether, I guess it is. And then here it looks a bit weird, but just pick the very first one, the account type, different kind of account that has Ether. And then go ahead and just press deploy to the Ether store. If it's not picked, just go ahead and pick it. That should give you an immediate success down below here, reading like everything is fine. So now we can go ahead and under the deploy contract, you can just open it down here below and you can see that you have zero ether. You can deposit and stuff, but the way you deposit is kind of weird, but you need to go up here on the same account and you enter something, let's say 20 uh, ether. And remember to change it to ether here as well. And then uh, go ahead and click deposit. That will give you another success. You have 20 ether and you should be able to see that um, the amount of ether is now uh, down to 79.9 something on this particular account we have. Now what we're going to do now is to go ahead and compile the attack sol file which is on here. Compile the attack sol file and we're going to try and do the actual attack. Go back to the run deploy. Very important step now, change account to another one. The one that doesn't have, just one of the others have 100 ether. Now, what you're going to do now is deploy your attack. So click deploy. And what you're going to find out now is that it's going to say, oh, we need to do something more. Now, this is what you're going to read in the description is you need to copy paste by pressing copy right there. The, uh, what is it called? The unique ID from the store, put it in there and then play the press deploy. When you do that, you will get a success. And then you should be able to just go down here and see you have a button called attack. Now, remember we are on the account with more than well, around 100, that's the hacker account. So we want to steal, let's say you want to steal two either. And you're just going to write two in the value, press attack, and it will transact. And at some point you will see the balance right here change to something more than zero which will uh, basically mean that this was an unsuccessful attack. And now we will see that the transaction should pretty much go through. And we have 22 either. The task is done. Just in a moment, we will see the flag pop up down here below. And we will actually have successfully completed the task of day number eight. So. Now that we're done, uh, we can put in the flag in the room and this is our flag and basically just complete it. This room was about cryptocurrency, it's uh, the story and basically it's about blockchain and 
I want to be honest, I'm no fan of blockchain. I will never work with blockchain and I will never use it for sure. But this task is about how you exploit a blockchain account and basically uh, with a very small easy exploit we can make that through. So even though this video wasn't that explorative, I did show you how to do it and how to use this tool, never seen it before, never heard about it and definitely not gonna come back to it. But there was a day today, it was fun, I understand what's going on and yeah. I hope to, tomorrow will be a lot more fun today, I'll be honest about that. So, see you again online and ho 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 ho!